interrupts. How are you doing? I am doing well. I filmed like four vlogs today. Not that they're going to go up. They were all like bad. <laughs> the very first one, I was really hot because I have, so I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or anything, but I've been kitten sitting. This is Minho. Um, I've been kitten sitting, so I've been having the door. In, oh, I'm sorry, honey. I, I have the door in my office shut so that the other cats aren't in here bothering him and the dogs and stuff. Um, but it gets really hot in here, and then it's stuffy, too, because the door has been shut, and then I turned my studio lights on, and I just, like, died of heat stroke. I, like, couldn't even get words out. I was so hot. So then I was like, okay, I'll film another vlog. So I filmed a vlog, and I was like, okay, except I accidentally started talking about my armpits a lot, which maybe I'll touch on in a second here, but we probably don't need a four-minute vlog, like, solely about my armpits. That's weird. Um, then I filmed a third vlog, and I was like, this is the one. This is the vlog. Um, and then like Leroy walked by me and he like rolled over and I thought I saw a tick on him, which I don't even know how that would be possible because it's the middle of February and the cat's never been outside in his life. But I went into full panic mode. It was some sort of nipple scab. I think he's fine. I don't know. I called the vet and she's going to call me back and I took pictures of it, but it didn't have legs and it wasn't a bug and it didn't hurt him. I, I think he had a nipple scab, which I was just saying how it's weird to talk about armpits. Probably weird to talk about nipple scabs, too, but here we are. So that's why I've filmed three vlogs and none of them are worthy of being uploaded. So what's going on in my life, you ask? Well, that's so nice of you to ask. Thank you. Um, I've been kitten sitting. Minho. I had another one, too. Her name is Zoe. Um, they're brother and sister. And what happened was I have been planning to get a cat for my stepmom for a while um, because when my dad passed, my sister took his cat. Um, she didn't, like, forcibly take his cat. It wasn't like a cat napping. It was like there was a lot of commotion during that period of time, and she was cat sitting, and then he just kind of never went back, and that's okay. So um, I've been, like, trying to help Pam find a kitten. Isn't my mug awesome? Precious Mage made it. She made the Pepe hat too, the BB-8 one. Ah! Um, anyways, I've been trying to find Pam a kitten, but she wanted a little tiny baby kitten that would, like, get used to her being around, and she, like, really was, I don't want to say she was very specific, but she knew what she wanted, and so I saw this litter of, um, like, Russian blue mix kittens on Craigslist, and they were, like, six weeks old. They were born on January 1st, so that would make them more, like, seven weeks old. But, yeah, I died. They were so cute. They were the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. And so my friend, my friend I don't want to say her name in case you know who she is. I don't want to, like, I want to let her announce that. Um, but my friend, she has a similar cat and has been talking about getting a kitten for a while. And I was like, hey, you want to go look at these kittens with me? And she's like, yeah, yeah. So me and her went out there and we looked at the kittens and we each got one. I got one for Pam. She got one for herself. But then she was like going on this trip and she was going to be gone for like a week. So I offered to watch her kitten while she was gone so that she didn't have to worry about like him being home alone a lot because I obviously work from home. So him and Zoe were both here and then Zoe went home on Saturday and then I have Minho until tomorrow. So um, yeah, they're doing really well though. Zoe's home and she's just doing wonderful and I know this is like unrelated but um my stepmother has like smoked my whole life like I've my hair and my dad met when I was like six or seven like I was really young and she's always smoked she's tried to quit a few times never made it much more than a week and um she quit smoking like the same like her new year's resolution was to quit smoking she quit smoking hasn't had a cigarette since the first that was the day her kitten was born and so she hasn't smoked and it's like this kind of milestone thing and she's doing this really cool thing where every time she feels like she wants a cigarette she's putting a dollar in a jar and then when she gets enough she's going to use that to buy a new couch which is I think a really cool idea and the fact that she's been seven weeks without a cigarette is nuts after somebody who had I think she's been smoking since she was like a teenager and obviously she's old enough to be my parents so legitimately like probably 40 years so um super awesome really proud of her and I got a little off track. What else is going on in my life? Um, I installed a new, well, I didn't. I hired an electrician to install a new light fixture. Let me see if I can show you without totally screwing up. Oh, God, I just zoomed. Oh, God. Can you see it? I think I zoomed. I think I unzoomed. Do you see it? It's like sparkly kind of. Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Okay. Uh, okay. Is that? Does that seem sort of like where it was a minute ago? I tried. I tried really hard. Um, 
So yeah, I'm having a cup of coffee because I feel like my energy level is really low because it's hot in here. And, oh, do you love my necklace? I love my necklace so much. It's, um, oh, it's backwards. <laughs> I love my necklace so much. It was one of the Loot Crate level ups this month. And um, I don't know if any of you guys watch The Walking Dead, but I love The Walking Dead. It's like one of my favorite shows. The last two episodes have been so great and so different, but both so great. Um, but anyways, in, shortly after, um, there's a character who loses her child and um, Daryl gives her like this talk about how um, during like the Trail of Tears, there was like kind of like an old wives tale about the Cherokee rose that started growing to give all the mothers who lost children strength and hope. And he talks about how he knows one is growing on her child's, uh, not grave really, but is growing for her. And that's what the necklace is. And then it's got, I can't open it because of my stupid nails. I might give up. It was, there we go. And it just says the walking down the inside, it's got a mirror. And then on the back it says, this rose started to grow where the mother's tears fell. I don't know. I thought it was like the prettiest necklace and it's very much my style. I'm wearing my new Horde tank top. I really like it. It's got like super armpits and then it's like got a tie in the back. My hair is crazy today. I love it. I French braided it. I put like four braids in it before I went to bed and this is what I woke up looking like and I feel very fancy. Anyways, I have a lot to do. I have a video to film and it got really late. I was actually ready to film very early, but... After the nipple scab incident, things just got off track. Wait, do you want to hear about my armpits? You probably don't, but I'm going to give you the TLDR of it. So I'm like super allergic to things like skin things like scented lotions and scented soaps and scented deodorants. And the, I had a deodorant that worked really well for me and then the company discontinued it. And I don't know, I feel like I told you about this when it really was bad. Like two summers ago, it was awful. Like I had like hives from like my elbows to my, like just the whole sides of me was hives. So I like gave up deodorant for like six months, which sounds like a gross resolution, but I really had no choice. I had to like detox my system. Um, and I used this like all natural stone thing, which sounds weird, but you like wet it and it like, I don't know, it makes you smell a lot less. Like it doesn't stop you from sweating, but it also doesn't make you swell. All the... It also doesn't, it helps you not smell. Um, although I always thought I was somebody who like sweat a lot, but it turns out that the pores in my armpits are like so sensitive to deodorant that when I put it on, it like tries to sweat it out because it like irritates. Anyways, so I found one that was like working okay for me. After my deodorant detox, I went back on deodorant. <laughs> this is a great story, I know. And, um... I was doing fine for a while and then like I started to feel uncomfortable like I'm not at the rash stage of my life yet thank god um so I decided like two days ago I would do another like detox so I'm back on the stone I'm back on the rocks and um it's funny because it's so hot in here like what a time to be alive am I right great story Danielle thanks for talking about your armpits everybody's really pleased to hear about that listen sometimes you just need to share your flaws with people so that they don't think you're some sort of weird walking Robo human. I don't know. Like, my name is Danielle, and I'm like horribly allergic to most deodorants. I get I get rashy sometimes. Glad we shared that. Let me know in the comments below a flaw about your body that people don't know about, because then I won't feel so alone. I probably shouldn't have told you guys that. I'm gonna go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh. I have one more story for you. So yesterday I was checking my email, like my my email that I use for personal stuff, not my business email. And my local pet store, I'm like signed up to their mailing letter and their newsletter yesterday was like, chicken soup for the soul, cat food is 50% off. And I was like, what? No way. Because it's normally a buck a can, which isn't super expensive, but it's certainly not cheap. And I feed my cats wet food every day, three times a day. So like, as you can imagine, I go through quite a bit of wet food a day. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, no way, right? So um, I went down and I bought all of it. <laughs> like every single case and can in the store of adult or indoor formula I purchased. I didn't get the weight management one because not all my cats are like, all my cats are pretty good rate, like weight and they don't need like a diet and I didn't want to risk any of them losing weight but yeah I bought every single can in the entire store of adult and indoor formula and I have no regrets you want to know why at 50 cents a can it's the same price as friskies that's like getting 
okay, what's a healthy, I don't know what a healthy, like Panera maybe, is Panera healthy? I don't know, it's like getting something that's like dollar menu McDonald's price, but is actually good for you. Like there's no byproducts, there's no corn or meals, there's no like byproduct or like cornmeal or chicken meal. It's all like, I, I counted the first 13 ingredients are like duck, salmon, chicken, peas, carrots. Um, and there's like no fillers. There's no, there is grain in it, but it's barley and rice, which are high quality grains. So I was really excited about it. So I bought all of it and I looked insane. Like with this shopping cart over, like the, my shopping cart was literally full of canned cat food. I made a guy get up on a ladder and get stuff off the top shelves because I wanted all of it. Like, listen, it's good until 2018. And like, it's not often that you can get cat food that's that good for the price of like bargain basement cat food. It was a great day in Danielle history. I'm going to go. I hope you're having a great day. This was a weird vlog. I love you all. You're in my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 Ah!